Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in. So I just had the um, honor of being uh, part of a Zoom chat uh, that was um, held by Jeremy Patzer, our local MP, and uh, Leslin Lewis, the uh, one of the conservative candidates uh, for new the new leadership. And I have to admit, lately I have been um, less and less supportive of the conservative party, just based on uh, who I see running a lot for, for leadership and who I've been seeing uh, driving things like uh, Peter McKay and O'Toole. I don't trust them um, worth a darn. I um, I think that they are just as much puppets as what Trudeau is and they'll do whatever anybody wants them to do, whether it's what's best for Canada or not. Um, what I heard tonight from Les and Lewis, I absolutely loved. Uh, she seems like a very... Um, a very, a very uh, smart woman who who um, knows how to, to to speak and put words together, and she seems to be able to um, just formulate her thoughts in a way that uh, is constructive. And her ideas for Canada were very much in line with what um, my idea for Canada should be, and what I know a lot of Western people think for for Canada. Um, and yet, she doesn't sound like she would forget about the East. She would sounds like she's going to be try, trying to be more balanced in everything. And she seems very open to uh, readjusting equalization payments. So they actually are um, discussed among the provinces. So the provinces can figure out what is fair and um, prevent it from all going to one province by the sound of things. And uh, she also sounds like she uh, wants to realign the seating Um in Parliament so that uh, we see more seats that are balanced for the opinion of Canada rather than just everything being in Ontario and Quebec because as you know by the time Ontario and Quebec are done voting the election's over and the West doesn't really get a proper say in who actually is Prime Minister. We get a say in who is the uh, opposition party leader but we don't get a say in the Prime Minister. Um, so it kind of hinders us and she sounds like she would like to see um, the way she worded it is a Canada first policy, which I love. Canada first. Um, criticize Trump all you want, but he is America first. And that is the way a country should be run. Think of your country, your citizens, before you start thinking of the world. And so she mentioned um, instead of funding all the foreign aid and all that kind of stuff, before we do any of that, we should be focusing on our own aid and our own people, and making sure that they are well-fed and that they are uh, able to be able to, to live their lives in not in poverty. And that's something we lack big time in Canada right now. And Trudeau can preach all he wants about um, our society being too much poverty and he's trying to increase the middle class. But what he's really done is he's actually grown our poverty um, he has made it so more of us are actually impoverished. He's taken those who were up in the higher levels and he's dropped them down to the, the middle class. So yeah, the middle class has grown, but now we don't have very many wealthy people because you've taken that and you now have grown the middle class. So what it sounds like she wants to do is a more balanced approach to that. And I support that fully. And her view on the oil industry, I loved as well. She thinks we should focus on our own oil development and production rather than getting it from Saudi Arabia and helping other countries produce the oil. We should be producing it ourselves and focusing on supporting our own industry. And that ties into the next thing that she said that I really loved. And that was going towards our approach towards manufacturing and production and how we need to do more of that in all of our products in Canada, which is something I've been saying for over a decade. Like it's just been ridiculous how we ship everything over elsewhere and then we buy it back at a more expensive price but we really should be producing our own stuff and manufacturing our own stuff so i love that she is focusing on that and she's specifically focused on the dairy industry and how the dairy industry needs help and they do uh, big time help right now because they have been crushed by trudeau's agreements with the u.s they have been just devastated and destroyed by that and we need that to stop because that's a big industry Another hot topic issue lately is the gun control. Yeah, I made sure to ask about that. Um, (laughs) 
You're welcome. And uh, so gun control, she doesn't believe the path that Trudeau's taken in gun control is correct. And I don't either. It's it's far from correct. All it's done is it's shut down an industry that is is big. It brings in a lot of money into Canada and has a lot of stores and a lot of employees that are relying on that. And when you take away all that, that gun control and he wants to further ban more and more guns, then what we're seeing is him implementing his dictatorship. He's disarming us to make it so we can't defend ourselves. And he's saying, well, it reduces crime. Wrong. Gun control does not reduce crime. It takes the guns out of the law-abiding citizens' hands, and it further empowers the criminals because now they know they can rob people and people have no weapons. So it just empowers them. And guns don't kill people, or people don't kill... Guns don't kill people. People do. They use the guns to kill them. And it's not usually registered or licensed weapons that are doing it. No, it's weapons that they've got off the black market or they've stolen or they've snuck over the border. So she said we need to tighten border security and make it so it's harder to get these weapons in, which is so, so correct. I couldn't have said that better, Um, which is why I say she is so smart and I would fully endorse and back her in any way just because she really seemed to know her stuff. And I know you can say things ahead of time and when you actually into power, it's another thing. But the fact that she's got that mindset already helps. Um, And it gives me a little bit more confidence in the Conservative Party again. Um, Now, time will tell, of course, what's all going to happen and who's going to get in. Um, But just from listening to to her, it sounds like um, she just... She has what's best for Canada in mind and not her own agenda. She wants to make it so that the news organizations are actually fair again. And interviews are not just being granted just because they back the Liberal Party. Um, he, she sounds like she wants it to be some of the smaller news places to get a chance, like Rebel Media. She said her first media interview was with Rebel Media because she saw that they were being unfairly treated by our government. And they are. I mean, they were blocked from another press conference today, which is completely wrong and goes against our constitution and everything in our country. But Trudeau doesn't care about constitution. He doesn't care about law. I mean, heck, he's a criminal. How many laws has he break, broken since he got in? And uh, what we see with, with Leslin is she actually wants to change that. And she wants us to help support our natives which is huge. They don't have clean drinking water and she wants to see them having clean drinking water. Now, one thing with that though is we do have to be cautious because there have been leaders in the past who have taken that money, just like you find with any group. But with these guys, they have the power and they've abused it. They've taken the money instead of applying it to actually getting clean water, they've taken it and they've applied it to their own pockets. And that needs to to be to be monitored. So I do caution Leslin on that that be cautious about that. Support the natives, yes, get them clean drinking water, but make sure that leadership that is in place in those native reserves aren't swindling the people and make it so they're actually having to account for the money that they're spending. Every penny should be accounted for because using that money for other things doesn't help build up the native people, which they need help. And and that's, that's an important thing is that they need help, but they need it to come from their leadership. And uh, so I do caution that, and um, but I love that she wanted to, to help support them. That is fantastic, because um, Trudeau really has said he would and has done nothing. Um, so overall, like I just, I was very impressed. I was um, very thankful to Jeremy Patzer and uh, Leslin for extending that invite to me um, to to come and listen in. Um, as um, they know, I'm a YouTuber, and they know I'm I'm doing a video like this. Um, so they didn't know how my video would go. They didn't know whether I'd support them or I'd be against them and do a video against them. Um, so thank you for giving me that, that chance and that opportunity. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, I am endorsing you because I think Leslin, you are a super smart woman and I think you can run this country, um, better than what Trudeau can, um, which isn't hard. So, I mean, that's not saying much, but I mean, you'd be way better than Cher, um, as Sheer, I've been so disappointed in Sheer. I thought he'd be so great, and he just 
he hasn't done anything and uh, he hasn't even really gotten any real traction. In fact, he's divided the party and um, no, it wasn't just him. I mean, that was Maxime Bernier too, as much as, and I like Maxime Bernier um, as well, but I just think it needed to be a lot more um, done more intelligently. So that is something that I think she will do. And I think that is something she's perfectly capable of. And 100% I back her. And uh, again, I thank you guys for inviting me and giving me the chance to make this video. Thanks, guys.